Uh, now today we are going to discuss about a union transformation uh, I took an example of EMP table uh, with department number uh, not in 10 uh, from the Oracle source and employee list.txt from CSV source and I'm going to apply the exp uh, expression transformation to convert the string to date of higher date uh, from a CSV source because it's a uh, um, it will be in a string format so that is not compatible so to standardize uh, with oracle source we have to give, uh, convert this uh, the second step and once the conversion is done from the ex uh, expression uh, using expression transformation we are going to combine the source um, oracle and csv source using union transformation and so once it is done finally we are taking uh, uh, that combined result into the target uh, table t underscore emp union table so the final results would be 14 records uh, that is 11 records from oracle and 3 records from csv source okay uh, already i have a uh, uh, query see emp where uh, dept not in 10 this would be the 11 records from oracle source okay so then the rest uh, the three records will come from the csv source that uh, i'm going to show it uh, shortly when i'm going to create a mapping okay so quick glance about the mapping which i've already created this is oracle source uh, 11 records and this one is three records and this is the expression uh, transformation uh, I've created uh, for output port so this is finally going to um, union transformation combined results and target okay okay let us try to create a new mapping from here okay uh, okay just a second okay okay I'm going to delete this one first oracle source will, will map it this oracle source So we will define query okay when I'm going to define a query what I'm going to do I'm going to use So whatever uh, the department uh, not in 10 I'm going to consider because the department 10 related records already present in the CSV file so this this is 11 records as I told before see so this query I'm going to take it I'm going to apply it in the query so let us try to validate The query is valid if you want you can preview the data uh, record uh, data as well yeah the, it's valid now so let us go back uh, now the source one is ready this one is oracle and the next source we are going to try from the csv okay so i'm selecting csv and csv file uh, what i'm having is called employee list.tn txt so here if you try to preview the records see the format is 1981-06009 and this is the format and moreover this is in string format okay string and the data type is string we supposed to convert for that reason only we are going to add expression transformation so uh, <clears throat> okay so what we are going to do is we are going to pull expression transformation here so join it here and open up the expression transformation and under expression transformation create an output port called o underscore irt and give the data tape okay and say okay and here the expression transformation 
use the built-in function under the built-in function go under conversion select two underscore date from here go all the way back to the field information here or uh, the the higher date with string what we received from the source we have to convert it be careful the same format what you have you have to convert it okay so that's it so expression is valid now it's ready now the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to call the union transformation from here okay now the union transformation is there so now the input one properly you can give oracle source and the output you can give input two so now from the union transformation you can go and do the field mapping so the uh, oracle source is straightforward so there is no uh, transformation we are doing only in the input to csv source we are we are done the transformation that is uh, the higher date uh, converted from string to date format so in that case we have we need to unmap the original higher date which is in string format and bring back the transformed information so now this is done okay now the final part what we need to do is map it to target and select the target table here the target table would be t underscore mp underscore union table so this is the target table so since i ran it already uh, i'm just uh, make sure that uh, to use the property of truncate uh, target it's taking its time just let us wait for some time okay now this is good so let us try to okay still the mapping is not uh, valid go to the validation panel and see the target field mapping must contain at least one field map variable okay the mapping we are done field mapping now so map it yeah so we are good now so let us try to save it here okay the mapping is valid now so okay so let us try to give a meaningful name M underscore okay. so I'm just saving let us try to run the job now job is running so the job ran successfully now we can see the session so now if you see the session information see here the source we retrieve from oracle source 11 records and csv source 3 records and finally it is loaded with 14 records 11 plus 3 thank you friends watching my video please subscribe my channel